You see what it does, but one of it and take it for. And that says, but when I am the Greek, I tell you who my shepherd don't know, when I ask you, you will be able to ask her. And he saw a lot of times away from my mind that, for him is a life of hardship. And we shall really not blind when we go out of the world. So, this life is just like an illusion. We live in a world that distracts us. We have learned to love this dunya more than we should our affair. We have learned to love these world meetings more than we love our law. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Bahar, chapter 2, verse 165, O min al-nas man yantaku ki min bilal and dayden, we do not taku bilal. And among people are those who take rivals with Allah. They love them as they should only love Allah. She connects with Allah, you have to love him most. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whosoever dies and won't be anything other than Allah as a rival, then he shall enter Jahannam. And whosoever dies without him won't be anything other than Allah, shall enter Jahannam. Same Quran, volume 6, chapter 24. To love, when you love Allah, he will constantly be in your mind. And when he's constantly on your mind, Forever be in your heart. And when it's constantly in your heart, you always remember the Quran that the Quran says to Abu Dhabi, but for the Quran says, Yeah, you are the Dina Amun, you can love a different kind of love. All you who believe, remember Allah, much remember us. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith narrated by Abu Musa, he said, The difference between a person who remembers Allah and a person who does not remember Allah is like the difference between a person. Like the difference between the living and the dead. So you will find at the 6,407. Why do you think that our dickhead, the remembers of our God, is the first thing she can do to take away from us? It is because of its importance in our life. So we get the love of the 19th century. This is the first time we will share that with our God and the people of God. She then has overcome them and can make them forget the remembrance of their love. We are taught that the remembrance of Allah acts as a shield against the weakness of Shaitan. In fact, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Whosoever is like that, that has Allah, why the Hummai Shaitan is like that, no one who is like that, 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 who is like Sayyid Bukhari had his 3,293 and Sayyid Muslim had his 2,691. Since we are our connection with Allah. Yes, since we are our connection with Allah. But it is not the gravity of the sin that matters. It is what we do after all. Do we repent to what happened or do we allow Shaitan to give us a sin? When a believer commits a sin, Shaitan used to make them feel so unworthy of Allah's forgiveness. He makes them feel so unworthy of Allah's forgiveness. He fills their mind with thoughts such that you have sinned. Allah will never forgive you. You just need to sin to find out where you are. You are a little bit. He makes them feel so unworthy of Allah's forgiveness. Perhaps that is why you come to masses. In order to become immune to all his deceptions, we must realize that every human, every Muslim, is imperfect and flawed by design. Allah did not create us perfect. So how can you do ethnic perfection from us? He only wants you to keep turning back to you and doing your house to listen to fire and cover, repentance and return to Allah, and with the understanding of Allah's mercy, one for who is fighting against Shaitan. So to Zumar, verse 53 says, Say, oh my slaves who have transgressed against themselves, descend not on the mercy of the Lord. Verily, Allah is out to have been most merciful. One of the du'as the prophet of the Lord of Allah and of the Lord was, Oh Allah, not be giving myself for any of the blinking of my eyes. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Your Lord, the most high, the ever living and general, he said, When his slave raises his two hands to him in prayer, Allah is shy and he can't embarrass you and see on them. Actually, he had a 3,556 and an Abu Dawood had his 1,458. We have all been in situations in which you have felt so hopeless and helpless. And we have also been in situations in which you have felt so pleased and happy with our life in this dunya. Oh, brothers and sisters, we need to, let, we need to use this situation as a means of strengthening our bond with our God. We need to use this situation to get close to our God. Allah said in Surah Al-Bahra, verse 153, Yeah, and you have left in our monastery, you deserve your Oh, you who believe, seek out true patience 
and prayer in all our hearts for the very unknowing and noisy difficulty. Our parents, we feel a lot of our hearts for our own text of the past. Well, that is wrong. A lot of our hearts are now also text of the teams, and it's in these tests that we often fail. How? When a lot of our hearts are like it's in many, for instance, we are happy. But we are so happy and desperate to the extent that we are willing to do anything, we really from sweat and fall to see it, we are not to keep it. We become so absorbed in these provisions that we forget about the very provider of them. And my hands are left in a tomb for me, I'm sorry for. And who is it that will provide for you if you don't know how this provision? We become so absorbed in our provisions that we forget that we are not with you from them. We give it to you, you as well, and you need to do what you are aware of losing you. And this is where the hardship comes in. When I'm not chasing you, this is where we forget that we ever had it easy in life. This is where we begin to let the beautiful and like wonderful God we have in our heart fade away. This is where we begin to think that our love and 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 our love. How can we think that when no mother would love her child, we are not lost his name? Allah just wants you to keep returning back to you. Do you know why? Because returning to Allah is the fastest way to do. When you cry to Him, your tears are not weakness. They are mercy. The Quran is medicine. The eye is salvation. Prostration is recovery. And the story of the life is our mother's womb. And with this, I say, first you will be like you are with me. As Allah has shouted, the children to never be blessed to do. So hold down to him in frustration and watch him alone. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi 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 wa rahmatull